Good morning. So this is probably the last video for this build. We are wrapping up a whole bunch of different things. Going to have um, have to put on a ledger board up for upstairs for them to build a deck. So it's going to require doing some flashing work. I have to I have to cut out some T111. We had actually started doing the battens, and then I realized that we hadn't flashed that in yet. You may ask, why didn't you flash it and put that in before? Well, because we're, my goal is always to get the roof on first and get it dried in. That's always like the first goal. So we have it dried in. So that's what I'm going to work on is getting, we'll cut out the T111, get flashing in, get everything correct so that water sheds away if and when it rains or snows. Chad and Dan are working on the other side. I'll just go over there and show you real quickly what they're doing. Also have Kaya with us today. Hey puppy, what are you doing girl? All right, oops. You can see there putting the soffit up there. They'll finish that and then they'll they'll do all the battens on this side while I'm putting it, <coughs> putting in that ledger board. The first thing I'm going to do is get a, a snap a line so I know where to cut. And we're going to start the deck so it's to the right of this window. I'm going to cut the T111 here all the way across 16 feet. That will, at that point, well, so this is an inch above what, <clears throat> what will be the finished decking. So there'll be an inch of flashing revealed all the way across there. And we'll tuck the flashing up, up, up in. So I'm gonna put a nail on there if I had a hammer. So I'll put a nail in here so I can snap a line. I've uh, snapped a line all the way across and I've actually made the saw cut, all, saw cut all the way across there. 14 feet it's going to be. If we went 16, it would have made the handrail come up above the roof line. So we cut it back to 14. So now I have to remove all of that T111. Pry bars up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's perfect timing. Just finished stripping all of that off. So now it's going to be hard, but we've got to tuck flashing up in there. That'd be tricky. We can do it. 
All right, bringing in the big guns. We've got Chad and Dan coming over. Many hands are going to make light work. I hope. Going to need two step ladders. I think they're all over there except the one I got. What was it? When Joe was carrying the truss and he fell and his head was between the... Oh, yeah, that was great. Was it on video? Oh, I don't think so. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wrap that. The same. Oh, we do. Here comes, here comes, here comes, here comes, here it goes. So. Oh, why don't you guys just make it look easy? It's actually going to have to come down at some, will it stay there? Yeah, sure. Wait right there. We'll put one in there. I'll be right here. Dumb dog. What? Ever? Anybody got a framing nail or this any good? No. So it's got to go that way because it's a bad spot there. Yeah, bad. Huh? I'll go get a framer. Well, I did what I could. Should have more. Uh, I'll just have to find them. Okay. Let's let's get it. Can we get a measure from the, both ends? I have nothing to do myself. Okay. Four and three sixteenths plus. Uh, I'm four and almost five. So four and a quarter, how's that? Okay, nailing it. <laughs> if the... Does it feel like yours is tight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna like a bolt the snot out of it. 
Okay, we'll edit that. Uh, <laughs> okay, so it's in place. I'm going to lag bolt it uh, really well. And they're going back and do whatever they were doing. We have spoken. I'm going to work on closing in, putting up uh, the handrails. There'll be temporary handrails up here, and then we'll be headering off this particular truss all the way up through, making that beefed up. There will be a wall on both sides of the stairway that will go and lend strength to anything up above. So I already have this cut. Get him, Kaya. Okay. Right there. Okay. Well, it is a beautiful day. It's sunny. Ah, it's, it, it's almost too hot for the sweatshirt. I'm sweating, actually, hoodie. Uh, we're done for the day. We're actually not coming back for another week because we were short on one, one piece of ridge cap. Uh, so by the time we get it, we'll, we'll go and do another job because it's a, it'll be a, a short one. Then we'll come back and we've got another full day or so here. <sighs> Tuckered out. Yes, I am. Hey, I think we ought to go inside. They're sweeping up in here, doing a really nice job. Look at that. So we have temporary handrails up here. A lot of people have asked. See, I'm just standing around while they're, look at it, two brooms going. You don't see that every day. So this is temporary. There's going to be a wall here and a wall here. A lot of you had asked about the steps floating around. Well, they will be fixed to the wall uh, as soon as they do that. We're not doing that part. Wow. Beautiful. And look at that pile of sawdust. Wish I could say I made it, but I didn't. And you can see the stairs all done. Oh, let's go look in at the, how I headered that off. You can see right there. We also put a two by eight. Uh, can you see that? On both sides of that truss, super solid, super. Let's go upstairs. Very pleased with how the skylight came out. No leaks. And it's been tested because it has rained quite a bit. So this will, this will go out onto a deck. We attached the ledger board. They're going to build a deck later on. They atta uh, we attached the, the ledger board. Lag screwed that baby in. and. Uh, so that's all set. Some of you had asked, hey, this is a good spot to look at this, about the ridge. That's about a two inch opening up there, all the way across. It has a mesh all the way up there. You can see a couple of bugs that are up there, but they're above, they're not in on the inside. The reason, The reason I do that is because uh, airflow, if you're in the middle of the building, it's a hot spot if you try to go gable vents. 
So this fence it evenly all the way across the ridge and it's only a small two inch opening so there's no possibility of blowback of uh, moisture, snow or rain, whatever it might be because the ridge cap extends out and over on both sides a lot. You had a lot of good questions, so I, I am trying to cover what they were. We'll go back downstairs, go outside, and we'll just do a quick drone fly around, and uh, that will be the end of this video. So, going downstairs. Stairs came out really well. They were seven. Somebody had asked what the rise was. We, we are temporarily not putting in a final step there because um, the homeowner is going to do something with his pipe and then he'll put that down. Okay, uh, the rise. Is seven, uh, what was it, seven and a 30 second under five eighths to make them all come out even. So that's what we did. We set the, uh, our gauge up for that. Worked real well. Okay, outside. All right. So we'll do a quick fly around. See, um, you can see the ledger board that I put up there. Let's go close and personal with that. That has flashing, we, we cut out the T111 and uh, left room to, to slide some flashing in there. It doesn't like flying this close. <laughs> so anyway, that's all lag bolted off, secured, flashed, everything correct. Oh, we've got to get that rope down. We are done with the rope. You can see over on this side they did um, most of the battens. Looks pretty doggone good. Liking it. see the porch. We poured the uh, sauna tubes the other day. We still have the porch roof to finish. We ran short one, one ridge cap. We'll have that in a few days. They'll be building a deck there. They're waiting to get the uh, septic put in. The line is coming right from the corner of the house right underneath here. And it'll come right out to a, to a septic tank. Then it'll go to the leach field. So there you have it. Cabin in the woods, off grid. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. I don't know if we'll do another one because there won't, won't really be much different when we come back. We'll just be here for one day. Probably going to close it out. Nothing, nothing will look different. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more coming and there's more, not more, some surprises coming up. Hang on. Just to close out this video, I wanted to talk about my HO train um, channel. I put a video on, oh, three weeks ago of a time-lapse of building this 
um, to a certain point. I think all the ledge was put on. And I put it on and, and um, I was really busy building and so I hadn't, didn't have time to check in on the channel, but when I looked back, it had uh, 83,000 views. I couldn't believe it. It, was, um, it did better than some of my construction videos. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description box to bring you to this channel. I haven't done anything with it. It's getting dusty and it's, it's saying, please come and work on me. So I'm going to, as soon as um, I think in another month or so, I should have time to spend finishing this up. I want to get that train station done, finish some of the rock. All of this is, it's a, it's a bit of a mess. This is just sitting here, it's not even attached. I wanted to finish that, finish something here. I think it's going to be a gravel pit. We'll see. It's, <laughs> the plans are in flux just a little bit, so we'll see uh, what comes out. It's, a, it's exciting for me to do this. I just haven't had time, it's been so busy. All right, so that's just a quick update. Check out the, the link in the description box. It was a fun video to uh, do a time lapse of all the, it's a, com it's a uh, condensation of a, of a dozen videos that I had done, taking it right from cutting the parts and painting them to putting them together, put, putting the foam down, all of that. I don't, I think I had some decorative trees in there, not sure. Hey, and one other thing, let's talk about my greenhouse. I haven't mentioned that in a while. So. Fail, 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 fail. Learned a lot, I did. So my radishes didn't make it. The microgreens, I've actually had a few of those. So th those are pretty good. Everything over here died. My potatoes are doing like incredible. Let's go look at those. For, for at least for, for what I've produced, these ha are going the best. As they grow, I've put more and more potting soil in there and brought it up as it grows. It's time to raise the light, I would guess. I don't know, you could let me know if I need to put more potting soil in. I started with it down here, then I added and add, I think I've added three times. But for me, it seems like they're doing well. My cucumber plants, not so much. They haven't really done anything. The celery, I can't seem to kill it. <laughs> I put it outside for a while, left it in 40 degree weather, rained on it, it got flooded, but it's okay. My beans, they're looking pretty sickly. The peas are looking dead, and I believe they are. One, so let's back up a minute, hold on. Okay, so my major takeaways were, I'm not using enough water, I, I was not. The beans and the peas, I just left them in those little potting plants or whatever, potting uh, pot, pots. Um, they needed more space. So I'm going to start a new crop and put them uh, in a bigger uh, base of, of material so that they have room for the roots to grow. And, I'll, and I have a better understanding of how the grow lights work. They're, they are a full spectrum light. So I know that I have to keep the, the bulb about two inches away from the top of the plant. That seems to be an optimum amount. So sometime, so here it is, we're, we're in the first part of November. I think by, <laughs> by springtime, I might have something that's actually grown well enough to harvest. I really want to get it in here. We also have not got the solar hooked up yet. I'm kind of anxious to do that because my, my electric bill here in the shop went from, use, I don't really use much power here, so it went from around $25 a month to $110. So I wanna get the solar hooked up so that I can eliminate, eliminate 
using uh, uh, grid electric and go off grid with the solar panels and solar power charger station. Okay, that's all I've got here for greenhouse update. Thanks.